Hi friends and welcome back to the channel MI Muhammad Ibrahim architecture and interior designing projects as you have been watching my videos on different topics today I'll be showing you a new video but before starting the video I would like to apologize for uploading this video after a long time as I was on a project case study to Delhi as many of my subscribers were eagerly waiting for a new update from MI by the way Delhi is my birthplace and it became a surprise visit to all my relatives in Delhi after visiting them in this video I'll be sharing my experience of my travel visits to different types of monumental places located in Delhi explaining about them and sharing my knowledge with all of you and experience with all of you i hope you will like it so let us start the show hi friends and i am at mayus tomb so let us start the show mayus tomb delhi the splendid mausoleum built in the memory of Emperor Humayu, the second Mughal ruler to ascend the throne, stands as a magnificent testament of the style of Mughal royal mausoleum. It is the first of the grand dynastic garden tombs commissioned by Bega Begum. Humayun's Persian wife and chief consort in 1565 AD, nine years after the emperor's death. It was completed in 1572 AD under the patronage of the Mughal emperor Akbar, the third Mughal ruler and Humayun's son. Located in Nizamuddin, east of Delhi, India, Humayun's tomb or Makbare Humayun is one of the best preserved Mughal monuments and was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993. Humayun died in 1556 AD following a fall from stairs. He was laid to rest at his place at Purana Kila in Delhi. Following his death, Delhi was attacked by Hemu, the general and chief minister of Adil Shah Suri of Suri dynasty, to preserve the sanctity of their emperor's remain. The retreating Mughal army exhumed Humayun's remains and took them to the to be reburied at Kalanapur in Punjab. Following her husband's death, the grieving queen Bega Begum set out for Mecca to undertake the Hajj pilgrimage and vowed to build a magnificent mausoleum in his memory. She employed and services the services of a Persian architect. Mirak Mirza Riyas, hailing from heart region of Afghanistan and having an impressive repertoire, Bega Begum not only commissioned and paid for the construction of the tomb but supervised it as well. The grandeur of this spectacular edifice gradually diminished due to lack of maintenance as funds dwindled in the royal treasury of the declining Mughal Empire. In 1880, after the establishment of the British rule in India, Delhi, the surrounding garden was redesigned to accommodate an English style garden. However, it was restored to the original style in a major restoration project between 1903 and 1909. The complex and its structures were 
heavily defiled when it was used to house the refugee during 1947 partition of India. The most recent phase of restoration started in 1993 after Humayun's tomb was named as a UNESCO World Heritage Site by the Archaeological Survey of India, Aga Khan Trust for Culture. The Design and Architecture of Humayun's Tomb The Humayun's Tomb is the starting point of the Mughal architecture in India. This style is a delightful amalgamation of the Persian, Turkish and Indian architectural influences. This design style was introduced during the regime of Akbar the Great and reached its peak during the regime of Shah Jahan. Akbar's grandson and the fifth Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. The grand structure is situated in the center of the 2,16,000 square meters garden complex of a raised on a raised 7 meter high stone platform. The garden is a typical Persian char bag layout with four causeways radiating from the central building, dividing the garden into four smaller segments. The Persian Timurid architecture landscaping style symbolizes the Garden of Paradise, which according to the Quranic beliefs consists of four rivers, one of the water, one of the milk, one of the honey and one of the wine respectively. The garden also houses trees serving a host of purposes like providing shades, providing fruits, flowers and nurturing birds. Built Primarily in red sandstone, the monument is a perfectly symmetrical structure with white marble, double domes, capped with, capped with 6 meters long brass, finally ending in a crescent. The domes are 42.5 meters high. Marble was also used in the lactic work, in the lactic lattice work, petradora flooring, and eaves. The height of Humayun's tomb is 47 meters, and its breadth is 91 meters, respectively. Two double-storied arched gateways provide the entry to the tomb complex. In the central burial chamber, a single cenolap a a single cenolap aligned on the north-south axis. As per the Islamic tradition, demarcates the grave of Humayun. In the central burial chamber, a single cenolap L aligned on the north-south axis, as per Islamic tradition, demarcates the grave of Humayun. The main chamber has eight smaller chambers branching out from them. All in one, the structure contains 124 vaulted chambers. Many of the smaller chambers contain cenotaphs of other Mughal royal family members and nobilities. The tomb complex. The Humayun's tomb complex comprises of several buildings, tombs, mosques, and a lodging place. 
important building in the complex are Nila Gumbad, Arab Sarai, and Bu Halima. Tombs of the Mughal royalties and nobilities like Bega Begum, Hamida Bana, Banu Begum, Isa Khan, and Dara Shikho are present within the main mausoleum building and the whole complex is said to be dotted with over 150 tombs. The tombs and buildings are centered around the shrine of 14th century Sufi saint Hazrat Nizamuddin Awliya, located just outside the complex. The Mughals considered it as auspicious site to be buried near a saint's grave and thus generations of Mughal royalty has chosen to be buried near the site. Thank you for your kind attention and showing your keen interest in watching my videos. Please do like and leave a comment as the comment really boost up the video on YouTube a lot. Share it with your colleagues as these are very knowledgeable videos which will help you and everyone a lot. And do not forget to subscribe.